Hey y'all, it's Chimby. Is this not the coziest sweater you've ever seen? I just brought it from my sister's closet without asking her, but she's cool with that, so it's fine. Thank you all for coming to this week in the comments section. It's where I talk about the comments y'all left me. It's so like, you know, I make content and then you comment on it, and then I make content about the comments you made. It's very, it's very, we all up in it, you know? I was gonna say meta, but then I wanted to talk about Facebook's new name being meta. But I don't have a take on that. I don't have a take on it, I don't have an opinion on that, so I didn't wanna address it. End up doing it anyway. We just finished the first week of content. We did montages, we did reflections, we did lives, and now here we are just talking about the week in the comments, you know? I hope y'all are really enjoying this week of videos so far. I'm getting some great feedback saying that you are, which makes me very happy. It's been really fun to create a lot more editing than I thought, which, what did I think was gonna happen? Truly, if you edit the video, like that's how it goes out. So, you know, I'm just gonna figure that out, <laughs> learn that balance so that I don't spend every night editing until 3 a.m. because that is a recipe for burnout and I know it. I'm excited to chat about what y'all was chatting about, all right? So before we get into it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments, <laughs> let me know in the comments if this influences how or when you comment. Because I was thinking that it actually could be a bad thing if I shift the motivation of people to comment from just being like wanting to engage with me and having a nice conversation to like, oh, let me comment so I can get in her video. Like that would, that could poison the well of all the great community engagement. Just let me know if I'm overthinking that and it's fine and it's cool. Or if you're like, yeah girl, I don't comment on your videos, but I only did it because I just want to see my name in a video on YouTube. I don't care about your yellow channel. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> why you gotta be so mean about it, dang. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and do this by video. I think that'd be the easiest way to do it. So first off, the challenge video that I made where I was announcing the fact that I was starting this YouTube challenge, you all were so freaking supportive and I saw so many names and faces that I hadn't actually seen in a while. I could be wrong, but I suspect it's because YouTube has kind of limited how many folks get the notifications from my channel. And also maybe it's just that my content hasn't been resonating with folks and they're just busy. Folks got things going on, you know? Sometimes it's not all about me, you know? It's hard to accept that, but sometimes that's true. So I think like folks just had a lot going on. Plus it's like, yeah girl, I didn't, I didn't get eye surgery. I can't relate <laughs> to this video that you made. So it was so cool to see so many faces and names that I recognized I hadn't seen in a while. It was really cool to see how many people were themselves starting challenges because of my video, or just like they were also doing a challenge, so it was just like a happy coincidence that they were also doing this at the same time. Challenges around journaling and around YouTube and around you know, faith and their creativity and just so many amazing things. So I'm super excited that there's like a crew of us who are taking on November and making it be our own, you know. We then move from the challenge video to me talking about me getting this new dope part-time job with Adobe. That was super exciting. A lot of you all joined my channel after I quit my job. So you've been on the journey of me like quitting that job, having this space to rest, but also kind of just trying to figure out what's going on, feeling more happy and like generating some dope opportunities for myself, running low on savings, but like knowing it was gonna be okay, you know, joining Creator Camp and getting to meet all these cool creatives and getting a chance to pitch Adobe, you know, pitching them and then like them being like, no, thank you. <laughs> and the ways I learned from that. All the way to now where I actually am working part-time for Adobe, which is seriously so freaking cool. It honestly doesn't feel real. It's one of those things where, like, I don't know if you ever do this with your own life, but if you actually just, like, look at the facts of your life and what you've experienced, you're just like, that's my life. <laughs> you're like, oh, that's so interesting. And it already kind of has me thinking about, because I have, you know me, y'all, I got some lofty goals. I see myself being a big deal. I'm already a big deal. I see that continuing to grow, and I'm realizing that it's going to feel kind of surreal throughout the whole thing, because it feels surreal now. Like, having 13,000 subscribers feels surreal now. I remember when I had, like, you know, <laughs> when I had 11, and I was like, 11, this is so cool. So I'm just like, oh, it's always going to feel a little bit like, wow, that's really happening to me, huh? Interesting. So you all were so supportive and so encouraging and that was, that really just meant a lot, just pouring so much love. It was so cool to hear how many of you were sharing updates on your job situation, whether that was getting a part-time job, recently quitting a job, but just taking that time to rest and relax and recover and just all the different ways that you all have been inspired to just look at the situations you're in and really evaluate whether or not it's the right one for you. And that you're, you know, inspired by the fact that like, yeah, I took the leap of faith and I trusted God to deliver and God 
is giving me opportunity after opportunity and it's showing you all the same is definitely possible for you. That was a really cool video and I, you know, I've been sitting on that news for a while so it was really exciting to just share that with you all. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to, to have so many dope folks who then signed up for Creator Camp after me talking about it. So that was also really cool was seeing how many folks from Creator Camp who watched that video and then folks who were like, I'm gonna sign up to Creator Camp because of that video, which is so cool. And I'm just like, you know, I really am out here influencing, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I really be out here making impact, you know? Like I did this travel program called Remote Year and I made a bunch of videos about the experience specifically because I wanted more people of color and black women <laughs> to do the program. The company had an all community call recently and they like gave me a shout out. They were like, you know what, Chimby has like referred like 10 people and I'm just like, first dog, y'all should give me some more money because I know how much that program costs. But like, it just really, when you share your experience authentically with love and excitement and joy, that resonates with people so deeply and I'm just so excited that that is what I can do on this platform is just pour so much love and share so much joy around what for other people could just be like a mundane like I got a job you know but for me I'm just like yo a job you know what I mean it like I think it's really cool so that was a really fun video I followed that video up with a montage of my almost five years on YouTube summed up in that video it was so interesting because I as I was making the montage what I most we wanted to do was show how I have kind of changed just like having lots of like shots of me kind of talking and seeing just like that transition over time but when I make montages in general I love that's a thing that I do in my life is make montages but when I make montages in general I like to actually have like a diversity of shots and have show different people and show like all this different stuff and I had to make a choice to not do that and so when I was watching the video I was thinking like oh I could have used all these like cool different shots like when they show the story of my YouTube channel but instead it's just you talking it's just your face like moving for like five minutes like who would want to watch that and then you know that's how you gotta that's why you gotta ignore the negative voices in your head because then I put the video out and y'all were like it's so good we love it and I'm just like okay thanks I am so glad. Y'all left me such beautiful comments on that one. My favorite comment was serving hair and body <laughs> for years. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's just so wild that so many of y'all know me as a bald-headed woman. <laughs> so you didn't know me when I had hair, when hair was literally like the point of my channel for years. It's just so wild how like we are truly constantly evolving and changing over time. And people meet you when they meet you and that becomes a story of who you are. But actually we realize we are these infinitely complex people. You can truly never know a whole person. And even if you were to know that person in the next moment, they would be slightly different you know yeah it was really cool um, for you all who hadn't seen my channel from the inception I can't imagine that anyone is here since the beginning but let me know have any of you all actually been here from the beginning from that very first did you recognize that very first video like I know I've got some DC friends who knew me before I started the channel so I'm like maybe a few of them but I literally don't think anyone's actually been here this entire time let me know if I'm wrong I had someone say a while ago that they'd been here since those Black Panther videos and I'm like that was such a long time ago <laughs> you stuck with me through all that you are a real one like that's amazing appreciate all y'all like y'all are <laughs> y'all are great and then we made a video we had to bring it real serious you know we had to talk about the truth of the matter we had to talk about how to have these hard healing conversations all right and that was spurred by a conversation i actually had maybe a month ago so it's actually been a while since i had the conversation that i talked about it was very interesting making that video because i like to be pretty like vulnerable and transparent in videos but it feels different oh hold on my sister's coming home all right, she's out of frame. I'm at some point gonna make a video that includes her. Truly, it's in the works. It's just not in this video, all right? But yeah, so I feel like normally I really try to be transparent and vulnerable. And normally it's about situations that are, yeah, they're in the past. So it's a little bit different when it's like actively in this moment. You know, like when I quit that job, like I was out of there. So I was like, let me tell y'all how, how I really feel. But I feel like now when it's like, like with the Adobe video, like I would like to tell y'all how much I'm making an hour. And I think it's probably fine. But because it's an active thing, I'm like, oh, I don't know if that's, if that's okay and I always like want to err on the side of let me just be quiet versus talking about this thing and talking about that hard conversation I'm like that was like yeah with the last few weeks but I'm like oh, I don't know if that's like it's, it's just still like happening in the present moment so I'm just like that's a little bit weird and I think you know as I think about the things that I want to be really open and honest about on YouTube but also maintaining those personal boundaries and what is my business uh, it's interesting 
wanting to speak from like, hey y'all, this is just what happened to me just like yesterday versus like, oh, I don't, like I'm still in that mindset of like, I don't wanna be hurting anyone's feelings because of what I'm saying in a video. So, so something I'm figuring out. If you are a creative person and you've dealt with something like that, let me know in the comments if you have any advice because I am all ears. But yeah, that video really resonated with you all and I really loved how many folks were like, this was right on time. Are you reading my messages? Like, how do you know this is what I'm going through right this very minute, you know? <laughs> and I think it's because like, we're truly literally all going through the same stuff at the same time. And that's why like, we need to talk about it is because we can just help each other out when we really like dig into what works for each other. And even that video, like I said, like that was because so many people in my friend group all had that same recent experience and like dealt with it in different ways but all came to pretty much the same conclusion which was just being so much better off for having those conversations so I'm excited for you all in the comments if you're about to have them conversations for you to actually have them and see the beautiful benefits that come with it I'll include my friend Dr. Helen Lim's coaching information again below if you're interested in coaching with her she really is fantastic literally I called her like yesterday <laughs> if you saw my live and I already talked about this but like I called her yesterday to be like girl I'm going through it you know <laughs> and she literally like coached me in real time and that was was awesome so we have to have the conversations y'all and honestly like I watched that video back and it felt like an attack on me because <laughs> I was like oh I don't want to so I, I really make these videos for myself y'all because it's just like girl you know this is what you have to do you know it works you know what's in your best interest and I that's why I get it when people are like yeah and I'm still not gonna do it because I'm scared because that's how I am so often you know so it's out there for y'all it's out there for me when we're ready we're gonna take our own advice and in the meantime we're gonna give ourselves grace and then I'm recording this truly like an hour after doing that live so Normally I'd like to include little comments from the live and stuff that I didn't get a chance to address. But I must say, <laughs> there are some lives I wanna, I kinda, let me know if it's worth going back to my earlier lives, if y'all have left some dope comments that you're just like, yeah girl, you should check those out. Cause I remember I rewatched like one of my earliest ones and I asked in the comments, if I were to get a man, who, who do y'all think he would be like? And somebody was like, Thomas Hubel. <laughs> I was like, honestly, I don't think I can handle that. I don't think that's the level of emotional, like emotional availability and like vulnerability that I'm at or I'd want somebody who could like read me like a book and like see through all my bullshit. I'm like, I'm genuinely not interested in that right now. Thank you, but no thank you. Um, and when I am ready for that, I will attract it into my life. But I feel like right now I, I'm attracting the exact people who are at my level of bullshit. It's like, yeah, we're both, there's some bullshit here, right? And we're like, yup, <laughs> we're working on it together, but we're definitely, we definitely rolling in it, right? Yeah, no reflections from the live, but it was really cool to just like hang out with you all and read that book. First time doing anything like that. And I think that's why I'm really grateful too this month is because I'm doing so much stuff that I've never done before, trying it out, seeing if it resonates. And that is just the whole point of being alive full stop. So I'm gonna keep it going. Thank you to everyone who has been commenting on my videos. It means a lot. I, I feel really grateful for the community of folks who are on this channel, you know, like to know that every time you put something out, there will at least be a few of you. And I know y'all are like the best ones, the ones who are like so consistent. Like every time I put out a video, I know I can expect to see your name and face and it makes me so happy. And it just, it's just an honor to be supported like that. And what I really wanna do is be better about, you know, reaching out to you all and like watching your videos and leaving comments. I already do it a lot, you know? But I want to do even even more because I know how great it is and how good it feels. Thank you all. It's been a great first week. I hope you enjoy the Sabbath. I'm gonna get me my little rest. We're not doing we're not doing no creating on Sunday. I'm gonna chat to a couple people on Sunday. If you if you watching, you know who you are. I'm gonna chat to you. But otherwise, we are chilling tomorrow. But we're gonna be right back at it on Monday. Bye y'all.